So sometime last week, a small dev team from Spain reached out to me asking if I could take a look at their game Goner. And obviously I was like, nope. But in reality, I actually checked out the trailer they had released a few weeks back announcing the game's Kickstarter, which is coming soon and it genuinely intrigued me. So with that, I said yes, so let's talk about Goner. So given from the trailer, which I showcased on my channel, the game itself is centered around an open world environment where you explore a world filled with prehistoric fauna. The way the game is presented in its trailer is pretty unique compared to some of the other indie games I've seen and or covered on this channel. Having elements of mystery, action, beauty, and horror all mixed into one game. And while there's not much that could be said right now about the game since it's far from completion, there is an official YouTube channel based around this project that goes a bit more in depth as to what it is and what we can expect from it in the future. So let's go through these devlogs to see what we know so far. The people behind Garner are a small group of developers that are located in Spain, and their team goes by the name of Loco Players. And they first announced this project on November 1st of 2019 through the first of three devlogs they have posted on their channel. In this first devlog, they go over what Garner actually is, describing as a semi-open world game with a not so linear your story where the main goal is to survive from the deadly prehistoric fauna. And it seems like there's a lot of emphasis on the survival part as these guys want to put you as the player in the shoes of an ordinary person with no weapons or special abilities as to make the experience seem more realistic and even horror inducing, since these encounter with dinosaurs will be more of a challenge without guns. This is one of several ways to fully immerse the players into the world of Goner, not only putting you in an environment without any weapons, but also making the wildlife unpredictable and able to track their prey through sounds smell and vision. And that's pretty much what they explain in the first dev vlog among other things. So moving on to the next one, they go more in depth behind the concept art for their game. They showcase things like the character, the dinosaurs, and the environment. All of it looks very impressive and I can't wait to see what ends up being incorporated into the game, but there's not much outside of that in this dev vlog, so let's move on to the third and final one on their channel. This one goes into more detail in regards to gameplay and mechanics, where we're actually put into the world of Goner. But keep in mind that this game is in a very early state, so most likely everything here is subject to change. The devs take an approach seen in most, if not all, survival games where you have to be mindful of the things you pack and carry with you, especially since things like food and water will be obvious necessities. Thirst, hunger, and stamina bars will also be a thing in this game, so you have to be sure to prioritize if you want to stay alive. They also list a set of features that they're planning on incorporating into their game sometime in the future, including things like stat effects, the weight and durability of each item, consuming action time which will make things even more challenging in the game, a crafting system that allows you to create and upgrade tools and weapons to help you on your endeavors, and along with all of that they also want to add a rest and weight system, improvements to and new animations, and finally taller trees and branch jumping. And going back to the weapons, they are not the only things that you can use against enemies. The devs also mentioned that there will be situations where you will have no choice but to run and or hide, and a part of this includes a camouflaging system, where you can cover yourself in mud and throw off any dinosaur scent, but it's not meant to last forever and the dinosaurs can still see and hear you if you make any movements. But there's also safe zones around the map to help you escape these dinosaurs for a short time. Places you could hide and or climb, for example a tree that you could get on top of by climbing a vine. And those safe zones will definitely be useful especially during the night, where it's almost pitch black with no actual way to safely explore the map. Luckily there are resources that will help you get through these nights, but one thing that is heavily emphasized is that each item will have pros and cons to them. For example, using a lantern to help you navigate through the dark jungles will surely attract enemies as not only does it make a lot of sound when you manually recharge its batteries, but the light itself will automatically give your location away. The point is here you have to be smart when it comes to using certain items at a certain time, or it may lead to your death. But that's pretty much a good summary of this last devlog that they have on their channel. Aside from that and a few other things, they also have their trailer which I showcased here on the channel already. The trailer itself shows us the kind of world we should expect from Connor. One that may look beautiful, but is very deadly the more you explore the land that is containing these dinosaurs. It really gives off some Ark Survival Evolved vibes, except there seems to be more elements of horror in this game, as the dinosaurs are broken down to their most primal state and will seemingly attack you if they even get a hold of your scent in their territory. It seems like a tone that a lot of people are looking for in dinosaurs games nowadays, as many seem to miss the terrifying feeling of being stalked and hunted by dinosaurs that they got in something like Dino Crisis or Turok. Visually, the game is amazing. Of course, everything here is subject to change, but the landscape, the jungles, the vegetation, all of it looks very well done and beautiful. The dinosaurs are a bit of a different story, as they're very stiff in animation. Their movements look pretty unrealistic and weird, but I'm sure this will change by the time the game launches. The models aren't bad, but they aren't that good either, especially the T-Rex. The T-Rex has a very weird, but definitely unique 
look to it since I've never really seen a T-Rex quite like this one in other games. But other than that, there's not much else to say about this trailer. Of course, after looking at it, I'm pretty excited to see this project grow. This trailer is meant as an announcement to their upcoming Kickstarter that is currently being set up right now, but I'll be sure to let you guys know when they've officially revealed it so that in case you guys are interested, you'll be able to donate towards this game. But the final thing I wanted to talk about is the story of the game, which according to one of the devlogs is not going to be entirely linear, which is a good thing in my opinion, because I'm the kind of person that prefers exploring in a game and progressing through the story on my own time than just following a single story mission by mission. But there isn't a whole lot on the story at the moment, in fact the only actual evidence of a story that I found besides what they mentioned in their devlog was in the about section on their YouTube channel. It says, Goner is an FPP semi-open world survival horror game. You will travel to a mysterious location following the steps of your missing mother. You'll need to fight and run for your life while you try to figure out what is going on and find her. In your adventure, you'll clash with a lost civilization and a mix of present and extinct fauna. In the end, an unsettling truth will be revealed that will change history as you know it. It's nice to know that the game will have some complex aspects to it since I feel like a lot of these indie dinosaur games have pretty simple and basic concepts and that's not a bad thing, but it just seems like they're putting an actual effort into making you immersed and interested not just into the game itself, but the story along with it. And that's pretty much all I have to say about Goner for now. This is pretty much all the information that I could really find. I am a part of the Goner Discord, so I will try to get more information from the devs themselves as the game progresses through.